Okay, team, I've been dying to get back to this. A few months ago, you guys may remember, uh, I did the first half of this video. It's just top 10 wrestlers to hilariously get another to break character. One of my favorite things ever to do <laughs> in the ring. Did it my whole career. Uh, well, you guys know me and my personality. I, you know, I'm an idiot. So trying to get guys to break is just a blast. And watching others do it and succeed is so awesome. So we watched the first half of this list. Let's check out the second half. And five, make the our Rock. comments. Rock was the undisputed champion of the people and the microphone. What you're cooking smells like 100% grade A. Money back guarantee. One big bucket of Canadian moose piss. Hmm. The, the guy was brilliant. I mean, it, <laughs> the, the way he could rip on the mic. Do you like donuts? He deserves Get the biggest everything he's, donut you can find. he's achieved. Oh, no. Nights, uh, I am the game. Uh, <laughs> I, I love the triple, the triple, the triple H impression. I, I can, I speak English sometimes. The triple H impression, game. Uh. It's a Stone Cold's fault. Your arms are way too damn big. Look at this thing. Finally, the rock <laughs> That's has good come stuff. back to Milwaukee. Finally, come <laughs> back to the Superdome. Yeah. <laughs> didn't he, didn't he um, <laughs> do that just to bust Hogan's balls? Because Hogan making one of the all-time great live gaffes ever. Let's get a Superdome chant. <laughs> well, not. <laughs> it looks so cold. <laughs> Not only being hilarious on the mic, the great one had fans grinning ear to ear whenever he performed the People's Elbow, which was initially created to try and make The Undertaker break character. I believe the first time Rock did the People's I'm, Elbow. That's interesting because I knew that was always tongue in cheek. I mean, come on. Anybody watching anybody in the business will tell you, you do a move like that. It's it's not supposed to look devastating. It's supposed to be for the last. That's where we were trying to make Taker crack. I always thought that was the hokiest thing ever, but iconic, right? And always to get me to laugh. Drop the people's <laughs> it would work. I, I love stuff like that. On this piece of <laughs> the Rock also <laughs> sold great. the stunner in an exaggerated <laughs> fashion in an attempt to make Stone Cold Steve Austin laugh. Oh, I used to love his selling of the Number stunner. Four, the New Day. In a similar vein to wrestlers doing the spin of Rooney, the New Day are renowned for getting talent to break from their These usual characters fun. in order to just, dance. Just, just plain fun. I love New Day. It's so sad that Big E hasn't been able to return. I was hoping they were going to give him a big uh, title push and instead he gets thrown on his head. McIntyre says, what the hell? Go, Drew. Oh. Okay, now, now, now we're breaking, breaking into the disturbing section. Including some names you just wouldn't expect to see. Oh, yeah. The way they did. Wow, I didn't know Orton. Go. I never knew Orton got in with that. That's that's unusual for his, you know, his character. Triple H too. <laughs> Look at that cell of the stunner too. <laughs> I love it. Uh, nothing better making somebody laugh with the way you sold something. Always ensues anytime the new day are around. So if they're not making wrestlers dance, they're probably making them laugh. They don't know about weenie too. When your gut hangs out more than your weenie do. <laughs> wow. <What? laughs> That's pretty good. That's good stuff. These guys. <laughs> no horns on their head. I remember when they were doing that. Uh, Team Dang, Randy! How many groups have you been in? <laughs> A lot of groups. You were. Ah, it's good. I uh, I've got a ton, guys, of vhs tapes dvd stuff like that with some of uh, my wrestling on it i've still got to go through and digitize 
back, you know, when I was wrestling, cameras weren't in everybody's pockets, and I don't have all the stuff I would like to have. But anything I find of trying to make people break Absolutely and stuff, of course, I'll post for you. Your wife I, you on I think I've got deep. one that I can think of for sure. Number three, Sami Zayn. During his time as part of the Bloodline, Sami was good. the highlight of WWE TV. In no small part, thanks to his ability to make everyone laugh. It was so funny to see wrestlers try and keep a straight face to avoid laughing. At the Usi thing was brilliant. Sami doing a little dance. He can't. That's the dance. That's I'm in his head doing the dance. <laughs> the yeah, right. You... <laughs> That's the dance he did. <laughs> yes, that was it. <laughs> Just hasn't been there. It very is. Oozy. That was it. That was a great moment. I mean, Sammy Zayn is sharp. He some of the stuff he came up with. About to go to dinner. Yeah, Waffle House. Hey, boys. You, you right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I love Waffle House. I go, my dog. <laughs> my dog. I'm right here. There we go. <laughs> 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 it's going good when you can get solo. <laughs> I'll have to. Um, I'll try to incorporate in some of these videos, or I can make a standalone video if you guys want of some of my favorite moments with getting guys to break. That's my dog. That is my goose. Yeah, wipe your face, solo. <laughs> Goofy Sammy Zane. Number two, that goofy Santino Zane. Barilla. At the end of oh, the Santino was brilliant. And all throughout the PG. Boy, and you see interviews with him now and uh, things of that nature. He just seems like a good guy, doesn't he? It, you know, being in it in the business for so long, I, I, a lot of times when I see the wrestlers interviewed and stuff, that's how the thought process is. It's like, how, how would this guy be to share a locker room with? He's one of the ones that seems like he'd just be a lot of fun. Era. Santino was the gift that kept on giving. I lost my title to William Regal. His knee to my head should have been illegal. You got served. From Miss... <laughs> Look at Regal. <laughs> Pronouncing names. <laughs> John Chena. Fandingo. Spongongo. Sorry. Fandingo. <laughs> Look at me, huh? I'm a Baptista. I shoot the lasers from my arms like I'm eight years old. Let's see. <laughs> yep. It's got to it's gotta be hard to hold it together in the, the face of that. Cells the animal Baptista has. Twelve. That's not very many Baptista. You have a big mouth, John Chena. <laughs> And there's nothing. <laughs> I would like more for Christmas. <laughs> Look at that's that's genuine too, right there, John Chena. <laughs> to making wrestlers break character. <laughs> oh, I love this Let's stuff. Paul White always seems like a good dude too. Everybody knows Glenn Jacobs is. To just being plain hilarious. Any man who hides behind a mask is either incredibly ugly or is the Batman. <laughs> and and Ray's heard a lot of shit over the years, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> and that one got him. Activities with the other kids because you're a ginger. It's hard keeping. Oh, I, I again. Huge admiration for this guy. Our truth is on screen. We used to be cool, man. What's Rooster is a rooster from Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh! So Rooster is a rooster from Brewster. I like that. Five. We got to do some When he's not making us laugh, he's still making us smile because of just how entertaining he is. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening, but I don't want it to end. Well, tonight we're going to put the E in entertainment. Truth and you know, the thing that can never get left behind, though, too, is truth can work the hell out of a match, too. It has even made Brock Lesnar laugh on two separate occasions. Relax, 
Turn back, guys. Leave him alone. Please chill, God. Chill, God. You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Truth is certainly one of wrestling's funniest ever, Karen. <laughs> I always loved, I always loved his, my bad, <laughs> shtick. What the truth is going to do in money in the bank. You're not even in the match. Here we go. This is on me. This is hey, on me. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I love my bad. Kazawa. You think you can take me in the nature bar? Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good. I mean, if I may add. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. Acrophobia, y'all. Here are spiders. Not one spider oh. on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. It's a there better not be no I want to be just like my childhood <laughs> hero, John Cena. <laughs> oh, no. Too <laughs> 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 Ah, that's great stuff. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you uh, that, video, that's well done. Like this is from, I, of course, I always put the link to the original video in the description. This is from Wrestling Flashback. They got a lot of good stuff. I love that. I, I can just watch these forever. And, you know, this, the botch videos, the botch videos are fun to break down, but anything to do with this business just, uh, <laughs> it just makes me happy.